In the Pokemon games, there are lots of things you could buy. Pokeballs, potions, clothing, the list goes on and on. But every now and then, the games like to tease us with some extremely expensive items costing a million Poke Dollars or even more. My name is Mike from Poketips, and today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the most expensive items throughout all of Pokemon. Starting things off in the Kanto region, we all know about the famous bike shop in Cerulean City. The owner of the bike shop sells his bikes for an astonishing one million dollars. Except we have a slight problem there, Dr. Evil. Up until Generation 5, the maximum amount of money they could hold onto was 999,999 Poke Dollars, which means that even if you have the most amount of money possible, you'll always be one Poke Dollar away from being able to buy this bike. However, money isn't always everything, because if we talk to a man in Vermilion City and listen to his story about his Rapidash, we'll be able to get a bike voucher, which we can trade for the bike. Like I mentioned before, in Generation 1, you can't have 1 million Poke Dollars. But in Generation 7, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, you actually can have 1 million Poke Dollars. Does that mean you could buy a bike in Let's Go? No. In the alternate universe of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, the bike shop doesn't exist anymore. Instead, there's a man who calls himself the Bike Maniac living in that spot. The Maniac will gladly let you take a look at the bikes, but he's definitely not going to let you buy any of them. So, unfortunately, even if you manage to get yourself a million Poke Dollars, you still can't go there and buy a bike. But if you want to spend a lot of money on a useless thing, don't you worry, because Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee certainly have you covered. If you go to Celadon City and go to the fifth floor of the department store, you'll be in the accessory market, and there you could buy the most expensive item in these games, the crown, for your partner Pikachu or your partner Eevee. And this is going to cost you a whopping 999,999 Poke Dollars. Congratulations, you're now broke, but hey, your partner Pokemon looks cool, right? Moving on to the Johto region, there aren't any expensive crowns or bikes for you to buy. Instead, it's all about fine dining. The first time you go down Route 32 and you try to enter the Union Cave, you'll be stopped by a man who tries to sell you a tasty, nutritious Slowpoke Tail. And he lets you know it can be yours for the small price of once again, one million Poke Dollars. Once again, this is one dollar over the limit of the amount of money that you could have, so you could never buy this Slowpoke Tail. However, a little known fact about Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal is that you could actually buy a Slowpoke Tail later on in the game. Once you reach Mahogany Town, and before you meet up with Lance at the Lake of Rage, you could actually buy Slowpoke Tail from what I'm assuming is an undercover Team Rocket agent selling items in a shop. Here, he's only selling it for 9,800 Poke Dollars, which is a big price difference from that 1 million the guy was trying to get from you earlier. For some reason, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the remakes of these games, they removed this. Now on to the Hoenn region, specifically in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, there are quite a few extremely expensive items for you to buy. First and foremost, in the Lily Cove City Museum, if you go all the way to the left, there's a guy standing around who's kind of upset at the museum that they don't want to take his art. If you tell the man that you're actually interested in his art, he will offer to sell it to you for 100,000 Poke Dollars each. And don't worry, each piece that he sells you will come with a story. You suddenly feel empty. You wonder if you're worthy in this world. You worry that you may be forgotten without producing anything. You feel living may be meaningless. But you still live! Finally, you'll discover the limitless possibilities in yourself and in the life you thought was empty. Thanks for the motivational speech, Pokémon. All of the art that he sells you are actually decorations for your secret base. Next, on Route 114, after you become the champion, a man appears near the water who likes to sell stones. Now, he has some good deals here, and some outrageous things that you should never buy. For the good deals, he will sell you the Mega Stones for the other two Hoenn Region starter Pokémon. The bad deal? Well, he'll sell you some rocks. And they're not going to come cheap. If you choose the option Loneliness, this guy is going to sell you a hard stone for the amount of 45,000 Poke Dollars. 
Think that's bad? Try selecting Emotionless, where he's gonna sell you another Hearthstone for 80,000 Poké Dollars. But wait, there's more, because if you select Tears, I guarantee you, you're gonna start to cry too, because he will sell you another Hearthstone for the grand total of 150,000 Poké Dollars. And if you happen to buy all three of these Hearthstones, it's gonna hit you for a grand total of 275,000 Poké Dollars. So what is the Hearthstone? Why is it worth so much? Well, the Hearthstone is an item where if you give it to a Pokémon, it'll increase the power of Rock-type moves by 20%. Is that worth 275,000 Poké Dollars? Uh, No. Especially considering the fact that this item is pretty easy to get since wild Pokémon can hold it and you could just get it from smashing rocks yourself. But we're not done with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire just yet, because there's one more way that you could waste a lot of money. In Mauville City, on the left side of town, there's a shop where you could buy some ribbons. In that shop, you have three options of ribbons to buy. The Gorgeous Ribbon, which you could buy for 10,000 Poké Dollars, the Royal Ribbon, which you could buy for 100,000 Poké Dollars, and then there's the Gorgeous Royal Ribbon, which you could buy for 999,999 Poké Dollars. So if you want to buy all three of these ribbons for your Pokémon because you're some sort of ribbon collector, be prepared to spend 1,109,999 Poké Dollars on one Pokémon. I think the old man standing outside of the ribbon shop really explains it the best. I'm here to buy my wife's Pokémon a ribbon, but all these ribbons are way too expensive! But if you think that's a lot of money, let's take a quick trip to the Sinnoh region. After you become Sinnoh Region's champion, a new area opens up to you that's basically just a place for you to spend money and go on vacation. This place, called the Resort Area, is home to the Ribbon Syndicate where once again you could buy these extremely expensive ribbons. But Pokémon Platinum has an exclusive way for you to waste your money that Diamond and Pearl just don't have. In the bottom right corner of the Resort Area, there's a big house and if you try to go check it out, a man will tell you it could actually be yours completely for free. Right away, he says it isn't a scam and you'd actually be doing him a favor by taking the house because he doesn't need it. All you need to do is simply nod your head and the villa is yours, so why wouldn't you say yes to that? So then, you go inside and you realize the house is empty, but the man is nice enough to order you a table. Thanks! But you don't want to live in an empty house, right? You've got to order some stuff for the house, fill it up a little bit, put some cool stuff in there. So you take a look at the catalog and... Wow! Look at the prices for all that stuff. If you want to buy everything possible for the house, you're going to be buying a big sofa which costs you 120,000 Poké Dollars, a small sofa which will be 90,000 Poké Dollars, a bed which is 187,000 Poké Dollars, a night table, a TV, an audio system, bookshelf, rack, houseplant, PC desk, it goes on and on and on. And if you buy everything in there, it's going to cost you a grand total of 2 million 500,000 Poké Dollars. Keep in mind, the maximum amount of money in this game is still 999,999 Poké Dollars, which means you're gonna have to get to the maximum amount of money more than once to be able to buy everything in here. If you do choose to buy stuff for your villa, there are some pretty cool items you could get, like the audio system which plays a remix of Lily Cove City from the Hoenn Regions theme, The music box, which plays a remix of the theme for Twin Leaf Town. And of course, the piano, which will play Cynthia's theme whenever you want, so you can feel even more like a champion. Fun fact, this villa was originally owned by Stephen Stone, the champion of the Hoenn region. The story goes that Stephen stayed here when he was in the Sinnoh region looking for rare stones, and after he found all the rare stones, he went back home to the Hoenn region. I personally think that he realized how expensive it was to own this villa, and he noped out of there and went back to his home in Moss Deep. 
And with that, we've covered the most expensive items in Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, and Sinnoh. But there are still more regions that have even more crazy expensive things that you could spend your money on. If you want me to make a part 2 to this video and cover the rest of the expensive items in the Pokemon universe, let me know down in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it took a lot of effort to make this video, and my friends, I'll be seeing you in the next one.